Okay, um, now we're going to go ahead and, uh, as I said before, we're going to go ahead and open our wing left. We're working with the wing left texture. Wing left, PSD, KLM. Here it is. It's our wing left texture. We're going to go um, into our fuselage half the left side and uh, as I was saying before as with the body textures how the blue can go all the way up well with the tail on your wing left side what it's wanting to see is white going all the way down it doesn't matter what's on it's not reading any of the actual body texture here it's reading only the tail itself so uh, what you'll do then what I always do don't save it after you do it but um, take our blue layer here and uh, any text that may be in the path the 767 text there there it is and we're just gonna turn it off for now then uh, we're going to do like we did before select the outline duplicate the background merge visible and delete any excess and uh, we're going to take our polygon selection and we're just going to select around the tail doesn't really matter because it's a white tail anyways but if it were a colored tail you make sure you get all this stuff in here so control C copy go to uh, wing left target control V gonna paste it in Gonna align our little cross. And you see it goes over onto our texture here. All we gotta do is just cut off that extra. Doesn't matter. We don't, we don't need it on there anyways. So there it is. Now the um, now the left side is done. We would normally just rotate it 180 degrees like the uh, you know what? I am on the wrong thing. Uh, we we're meant to put this on wing left PSD. As you see here, place your tail here. Use red cross to align. Flip it 180 degrees. So, uh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and uh, apologize for that. I put it on the wrong side. So uh, the wrong texture. I put it on the target instead of the PSD. So anyways, just repeat it. You saw me do it before, so. good that's aligned so there that is and it says here f copy the tail and flip it 180 and that's fine if your tail doesn't have any typing on it but if your tail does have text on it you can't do that you got to um, okay we're gonna close this one and don't save it because we're, we're done with it we're gonna open the right side because it's flipped the way it should be and uh, same thing as before get rid of the blue duplicate the background because we're going to end up doing it anyways uh, get rid of any any stray text there it is um, I'm going to go up and select the uh, outline turn it off deselect the background layer merge visible and delete not a bad looking paint job actually with just the blue stripe it's kind of simple uh, we'll go ahead and uh, select our tail control C to copy control V paste it in there and we need to flip it vertically as you can see transform flip vertical and just align the cross there's our cross and it is sticking over a little bit that's fine and, uh, and you may be saying well Gary it doesn't go all the way down onto the blue or onto the white like it's supposed to like I said doesn't matter all the sim is reading is the tail itself this all down here is just there just because I guess it was just easy to paste in there when he originally made it okay so that's done um, so good wing left KLM make sure you save it before you flatten it now we're ready to paste it over to the targa so layer 
flatten the PSD. It's going to ask you if you want to uh, disregard the hidden. That's fine because it's just talking about those exits. Control A to copy, or Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Go to your target. Control V. There you go. Looky there. Layer, flatten, file, save as, wing left. KLM Targa 32-bit with the alpha channel. The alpha channels are already set. You shouldn't never have to adjust them unless you just want a, uh, a chrome airplane. So uh, we'll go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close the right side. We're done with it. Um, the only last thing we need to do is the wing right Targa. We've got to get rid of that. So we'll open our uh, PSD file where we already did that. Wing right, wing right. Oh yeah. Layer, flatten image. Okay. Control A, Control C. Wing right TGA, Control V. Layer, flatten. File, save as. Wing right T, KLM. 32 bit. Close it. And we don't want to save our PSD file. And I do believe antenna, antenna, we've got a little time here. I'll show you what the antenna is. Your antenna texture, uh, basically this is your SATCOM antenna on top of the plane. These are three underneath. These are small little antennas. Usually you won't have to paint your antennas unless the airline has them painted. These are the top of the fuselage, bottom of the fuselage, SATCOM. Uh, if you're dealing with an uh, airline that has a SATCOM antenna, all you have to do, this alpha channel is black and white. Anything that is black is going to not show up in the sim. Okay, so if you want the SATCOM antenna to show, which I believe KLM has one. Let's double check. Yeah, yeah, KLM has one. So if we want the SATCOM antenna to show, we need to select that area that it resides in. Make sure you don't get into that other little piece there. And uh, paint it white. Perfectly white. 255 all the way down. Uh, get you a little bit bigger brush. And just paint that in there. There you go. Control D. Deselect. There. Now we'll have a SATCOM antenna. So we're just going to save this. It doesn't matter. We didn't really edit too much of it. So therefore our target is also saved. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as the target files. This is everything. Everything here is everything you would need to edit to paint an aircraft and we are completely done. So all we got to do now is uh, add this aircraft to our flight simulator folder and uh, we'll be there. Uh, we'll be uh, as they say in there like swimwear. So uh, until then we'll catch you next time.